Are you ready, Eileen? Are you ready, ready? Finally? Yeah. All right, ready? Okay, so today I feel like we got a little bit more organized. Yeah, this setup's better than yesterday's because we got this, like they weren't just all on the table. Mm -hmm. Today is our last pop-up shop in Vegas. I'm super excited because when we did our Instagram poll, a lot of people voted that they were gonna be in Vegas more than Arizona. So I'm really excited to see like all the people that are gonna show up. So now, are we gonna have people coming today? I hope so, cause I'm really, I'm gonna be like kind of sad if they don't. Yeah. Should I go check or something? Mm, yeah, because at this time yesterday we had a line. I feel like Eileen forgot to promote the pop-up. She was out in Vegas having a good time with Iram and I decided to go with them. So I'm a little concerned because I feel like I forgot to push it as well because I got distracted with the girls. What if nobody comes? That's gonna be kind of sad. Well, I just posted something on Instagram. Hopefully they're like, I'm on my way. You know, instead of like, oh, I'm sorry, amiga. Low key, I'm having a little bit of regrets because I know that we've been working really hard towards it. And it's like, what's gonna happen if I put all this work and all this effort and nobody shows up? Okay, so we're just gonna go check how many people are outside. And I hope there's people. Oh my God. Is there? There's like literally two three people. people outside. <gasps> Oh, this is so, I'm so nervous. Like, I mean. I thought there was supposed to be more people today than Yeah, well, Arizona. a lot of people were like saying that they were gonna come. So I don't know, I hope so. It's supposed to start in 10 minutes. <gasps> okay, well, we'll see if people show up. I'm just like super it's nervous. Yeah, it's, it's not, not looking not good. Right. So me and Iran went to go check how many people were outside and it was probably like two or three people. I was kind of like worried a bit because we have all this product and you know, like, what are we gonna do? Um, there's like three people outside. Yeah, there's like literally three. It's already the time for the store to open and have the girls come in and Eileen comes back and tells us that there's only two girls waiting in line. And that really caught me by surprise because at this time, the day before, there was already a line outside. So I'm just concerned that what if nobody shows up? That's okay, those are our true amigas. So I think we should just have them come inside and let's just hang out with them. Yeah. Whatever happens, happens. If it's like those three people, then whatever, we'll make the best of it. Yeah, exactly. I think we just okay. need to change our energy to like positive vibes. All right, you know what? Okay, let's get them in. Okay. Woo! Regardless, you have to stay positive because, like, those are supporters at the end of the day, and we all agree that if five people showed up, then we would just enjoy it with the five people that were there. Okay, so I ram. You're our opening act. Go hype the girl, the three girls out there. Be like, hi, yes. three girls. Woo. Three girls. Hi. Yeah. yeah. Actually? Yes. But we'll be like, hey guys, can you come yeah. in? Yeah. Okay, I'll go get them. Yes, opening night. Yes. I definitely have a better game plan because I had time to think about how we're gonna set things up, how we're gonna do things, and better position ourselves this time around. Oh guys, there's like three people. Four now. Woo! Four. 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 We said five, we'll be happy, right? Yeah. Hi. Hi guys. Hi, Amiga. Hi. Oh my God, that Ooh, looks so cute. Okay, so come in, come in. Yeah, okay, oh, yes, hi. hi. How are you? Oh my God, you guys look so pretty. Hi, welcome. Oh my gosh, hi, girl. Hey, girl. Oh, you made it. Hi. Once, like, the girls came in, and everything, I felt like I could have just been like, once like the girls came in and everything, I feel like my nerves kind of went away. And those five girls, it was an opportunity for us to be more intimate. I'm so excited. Oh my God, I'm so excited you guys are Okay, here. good. You guys get a voucher and then one of you guys gets a chance to either get a free makeup look from Jaden Productions and also a $200 voucher for anything that you guys want to purchase at the store. And girl, let me see if you guys are in high school prom dresses. Yes, right? I know that Lily and I said we came back to our original thought. If only five girls show up, we're happy. And literally five girls showed up. You know, a few of others came after, but just the few girls that were there really like 
help to see things and the worth, like it's worth doing these things. Yeah. So how do you guys feel yeah. like, being, like, like, like being an influencer and being like known? I feel like it's the same. We live like every day like normal, right? Yeah, we're just us having fun. Yeah. And then sometimes we're in the store with no makeup and like raunchy. And oh my stuff. god. Yes. <laughs> we're like, hey, you know, and like, that's like, like our everyday. Like this is like once like <laughs> once twice a week. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. But you have a very lucky um aunt and then a mom Aww. too. Yeah. Like I've always loved how you guys were always supporting her since the beginning, since she started. I know when you started off you were mentioning how like they would bully you in school mm -hmm. and all that. And I went through that too. Like they would bully me so much, but I mean yeah. Did anybody else go through bullying? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, really? She did really badly. Really? Wow. That is so mean. Why do yeah, people, yeah, like, what do they get out of it? All I would do is just sit there in the class and cry. Because I have no friends at all. But why? Like, what would they tell you? All they would just say I was ugly and nobody would like Girl. Just feel myself. Ew, so that my pretty. friends don't like me at all. Oh, wow. How and at some people... point, they started cutting my hair. See, people just do that because they're jealous of you. Like, yeah, but see, the thing sure. is that when you're seventh grade, you don't see that. You see that when you're grown. And like a grown woman, I would see that she's woman. beautiful. Yeah. Why would somebody exactly. say that? Like, oh, I'm sorry, but no. You're but really tell them what happens. Home. It gets better, right? Yeah, it always gets better. Then I get homeschooled, so it gets better. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was actually really surprised when they started talking to me about, like, you know, their bullying experiences because it takes a lot for someone to open up to a person that they've never met and only seen on social media. And I thought that they trusted me. Like, they trusted me enough to tell me about like their issues and I like appreciate it. How did you get past that? I mean mine was since fourth grade. Mine was fourth grade all through like eighth grade and then um, yeah because I would make the fun of my size and then for talking for like um, being yourself. Yeah so I kind of like started closing myself. Um, I would cry to my mom a lot. When I was in seventh I even stopped going to school because of it like it was so bad like I literally didn't talk to anyone. And then, well, once I started staying home from school, like, you know, I had a lot of people come and talk to me and stuff. It was hard, but. Bullying isn't okay. And it happens to a lot of people. And a lot of people really deal with it on their own. And nobody really knows what a person goes through. You always think that you go through this by yourself, but you're not alone. I mean, yeah. it's helped her a lot to see, like, girls hear stories from you guys. And what, she, what can you tell them is it gets better. Literally all her haters have apologized to her. Like, I swear, them. no, it's, like, weird because then all of a sudden everybody's like, I'm sorry. I felt like once they were, like, talking to me, I was really, like, taking it all in. And I wish I would have said more, but it was more of a thing that I was just like, like, wow, like, that's crazy. Like, I'm not the only one out there that goes through these things. Well, Amigas Forever. Yes. 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 So I'm so glad you guys made yes, it. Sister. Yes. 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 Oh, now we say Amiga. Yes, oh, okay. Amiga. Okay. We might have had less girls, but I feel like it was good that we got the opportunity to just hear their stories and give them the opportunity to like speak and talk about their issues and make them feel better about themselves. Everybody go through their things bad at the end of the day, there's always better days, no matter what. So how yeah. are Mondo and yeah. Rihanna? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, she knows the tea. Um, they're, they're just friends, yeah. They're friends, they both are like doing their own thing right now. He needs to cover up because she's so pretty. Like, she, she is so fun. pretty, so nice. When I see her talking, she's like such a genuine yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, so he needs to cover sweet. up because she's so True. pretty. Yeah, but I think they're just like both like not on the same page. But they're so very shy, guy. that's why they're yeah. like... They're, I think, they're, they're we think, we all think that that's the reason, but... So yeah, they're just friends right now. Mm -hmm. And you and Ruben? If you guys go out, just don't bother to like, see me or text me or call me. What do you mean? Because you're not showing respect. Okay. Bye. All right. Uh, we're, we're, we're going, right? <laughs> Hanging yeah. in there. But we're still like talking and what and stuff. But he's just been like kind of mad because I've been going out. You don't mean a girl deserves to go out. Yeah, okay. she's yeah. young, so yeah, you're young, girl. I know. Exactly, she's got her whole life ahead of her. Mm -hmm. Yes. We have not talked, so I wasn't gonna lie to the girls and tell them that we were doing good because we weren't. He threatened me and said that if I went out not to talk to him or call him. And I ended up going out, so I guess we're not talking right now. She got a bad. <laughs> I mean, I just missed a space time call. <laughs> You're like, sorry. So are you pregnant? Ooh, girl, that was the question of uh, I know, everybody was asking, asking, right? No, I'm not pregnant. Oh.
Yeah. Baby, I need mean, not pregnant yet. <laughs> yes. 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 But yes. you never know what could happen. Yes. Girl, I just gained some weight. <laughs> like, I'm not pregnant, but hopefully I will be soon. And we talk about having a baby. My heart. We have a girl boss over here. Hi. You're like, hi, girl boss. Love it. What's your name? Kaylin. 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 I'm over here, Kaylin. Oh my god, I love this. So after we had our conversation with the girls, eventually more people showed up and I feel like we had a bigger turn up than the one in Arizona and everybody was just having a lot of fun and it was well worth it. It was so worth being there and just enjoying time with the amigas. Oh, Cute. Thank you. thank you. Yes, amiguita. She was giving me like a bunch of hugs earlier. Picture. We just finished the Vegas pop-up shop and now it's time for us to go get some tattoos. Finally! I've been waiting for this. Moment. All your life? All my life. <laughs> you you were like 15, huh? Mm -hmm. So are we here? We, where are we at? Right there? Right there? Yeah. I've had like the worst luck trying to get my tattoo since the first episode of Grin If I Need. Oh, I'm sorry, we can't tattoo her. She has to be 18 years of age. Really? Even yeah. if she gets permission by Even us? from a parent consent yeah. by law, she has to be 18 years of age by law. Just times after that that I've tried on my own, didn't work out, and then pranking my dad. Now it's happening and we're all getting it together. So I'm super excited. We're finally gonna get my tattoo. Are you ready, Eileen? Are you ready, ready? Finally? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm scared. Today I'm going to get the tattoo that I've been wanting forever, which is the heart tattoo that all my tias and my grandma has. So I think that one has like meaning to And then we're also getting matching tattoos. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be a triangle because the triangle has three sides, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And we're three of us. Mm -hmm. It's just a good way to like show the bond. Yeah, our bond and everything. A, a bond, bond that, that can be, be broken. broken. All right, ready? You have to breathe though, you can't hold your breath. Please don't hold your breath. Okay, then you're gonna faint. Voice. <laughs> <laughs> <Boys. laughs> I think these are like my only tattoos that I'm ever gonna get in my life. <laughs> I'm getting my tattoo and it's a weird feeling. Like it hurts, but it's just like a, a sting. Like a freaking... Like they're cutting through your skin yeah, it's with like a knife. Yeah, like a sting. Like you can just it's like not that hear bad. it. Okay, but it's weird. That's it? Yeah. Cute! Yeah. You survived the That's first cool. one, amiga! Oh, Woo! The first one. It's there you go. on you now the rest that of your is life. So Welcome cute. to the club. Ew, shave. No, you shave. <laughs> Thank you. Marisa got your hand, honey. Go. Okay. okay, now your your wrist. So my first tattoo is done, finally. Thank the Lord. And I am nervous for my second one. Because I feel like my first one, it was all the way down here, so it's kind of far. <laughs> but then this one's like right here. It's like right here. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> like I, it's like right there. I was like really scared that I was like not gonna want the second one after my first one if it really, really, really hurt, but I think I could pull through. This one means a lot to me. It means like, what the f did I do in Vegas? <laughs> did you guys just go to Vegas like just and get it? Well, no, we went for my mom's birthday. And, and you guys were just like, let's get a tattoo. The day of home. Mm -hmm. We're like, let's go get a tattoo, f mom. Mm -hmm. She's like, just reminded us of a special moment in time when we went to yeah. Vegas to celebrate my mom's birthday. My mom's so. 60th birthday. Yeah. Home. Okay, mom, honestly, can I hold your hand again? <laughs> oh, she wants to hold hands again. Oh, cute. I probably was being a little bit dramatic, but it was just weird, like, the sensation, like, uh, that's why I needed to hold your hand. I know, that was cute. Because you're making yeah. the funniest faces, though. You're like... 
Ew, oh, you're nasty. <laughs> I think tattoos should be like meaningful, like for sure. Eileen, you should be, be very thankful that you have your, your mom and your aunt because yeah. they already had those experiences and they're giving you like, like this is, good you don't tip. have to go back and be like, man, this was a badass. Yeah. 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 All right, all done. I love it so much. So cute. Oh my God, oh my I love God. it so much. <laughs> Dude, I love that so much. I love it. My second tattoo definitely hurt more than my first one because it was just like a sensitive area. But I mean, I pulled through. Okay, here I come. All right, here we go. It's right next to the Achilles, so. <gasps> so it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt like a mother <laughs> Okay. <laughs> here we go. Is it weird? That I like the feeling oh of tattoos. Oh my god, you're the tattoo that then gets you need turned to get on. on your Wait, do I have fetish? Yeah, fetish. Mm. Get, you it, on get it on your vagina. On your nipples, a little flower, <laughs> and then the middle, the nipples. Have like you ever turned thingy. nipples into flowers? Um, yes, yes. Cute roses. Have you ever done a coochie tattoo? I have. Lily. <laughs> Lily, get one right now, yeah. Okay, right now. <laughs> Imagine. My tia Lee was very like, okay, it's my turn. Like, if she didn't care that she was about to get a tattoo. And yeah, you can definitely tell that it didn't affect her in any way when she got it, because she was like moaning. She I was, was like, literally <laughs> huh? She was, huh? She was, she was like, oh, why does this feel so good? Ew, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. I did not go, oh, this feels so good. <laughs> yeah, she's like, literally, yeah. Like, He's all, <laughs> <laughs> Like a big chip. <laughs> Are you nervous? Yeah. Hey, look at how. Yes, look at how swollen my head. You should be embarrassed. That's <laughs> my feet are. I'm just swollen. Look. You have kinkles right now. Well, that's what happens when I go run around chase you guys the night before, taking care of you guys. I needed my rest, and, you and get, I needed to like and you can pick toxify. Feet. <laughs> But anyways, my mom decided to get out my kinkles. Oh my god, relax. Okay, stop. Oh, stop. I don't know how you were getting turned on with the because this is not turning me on. First of all, I didn't say that I was getting turned on. You were getting turned on, Lily. I don't get it. Ew, stop making that noise. Like you're killing the cat. That's how you sounded. I don't remember what sound she was making. I don't think we were paying attention to her. I was too busy doing the renegade on TikTok. Now when you're dying and you're like, whatever that. <laughs> well, yeah, you're all yeah. done. Woo! <laughs> we did it. I did it. And I didn't got you two. got a little one. Oh, and I got a big one on my back. You see? Oh, this is cute. Take a look, yeah. I love it. That is so cute. Is it so cute? Love it. Why does yours look like more than ours? <laughs> like, even though it looks the same size, I have a looks... freaking big <laughs> ankle. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's ours is the same size, but that one looks even bigger. Maybe it's on her. Because I'm a big bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're Thank you. such a good job. Wait till Armando wants to get a full portrait of me. Yeah, let's see how that goes. Oh, why would you? Why not? Why? Can't Wait, you I just got that. <laughs> Imagine. Huh? My face. <laughs> Ew. Oh. I like Zeke's gonna get one of me. They see that you're saying. Huh. Right? Yeah. yeah. The Amiga's tour is officially over, and I feel like it was such a success. Like, it really didn't matter like if 10 people showed up or 100 people showed up. Like, I feel like the girls that were there were real and supportive, and I just appreciate that, and I literally like wouldn't want it any other way. It was perfect. Yeah, it was perfect. So the next thing coming up is my 18th birthday, and I was thinking I wanted to go to Cabo. Yes. Mexico. Yes. Yes, I love that idea. But we need to ask your dad. Well, mm. I really want to go though. Imagine. I feel like we can make it work. Imagine a girls trip to Cabo. Bitch. And that's why I want to go to Mexico because I'm gonna be legal there. Dude, let's go. I'm down. Who's down? Who's down? Sisters. 
For more Gainsight content, make sure to check out Awesomeness TV's new Gainsight channel. Click here to watch my new season.